तो हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू बाइस हमने पिछले लेक्चर में इस टॉपिक पे एंडिंग करी थी और आज इसी टॉपिक से हम कंटिन्यू करेंगे डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट में पार्टनरशिप विद इंटरनेशनल एजेंसीज पार्टनरशिप का मतलब हमने समझा इंटरनेशनल एजेंसीज हमें मालूम और इन दोनों में पार्टनरशिप करनी क्यों है डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट तो इन डिटेल आज हम ये डिस्कस करने वाले तो सबसे पहले देखें यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑफिस फॉर डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन में दिसंबर 1999 की बात है जब यूएन जनरल असेंबली ने एक रेजोल्यूशन पास किया और यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑफिस फॉर डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन जो है एज अ सक्सेसर ऑफ द सेक्रेट ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल डिकेड फॉर नेचुरल डिजास्टर रिडक्शन इन 2001 बना दिया असेंबली रेजोल्यूशन जो था इसने मैंडेट किया द सेक्रेट टू सर्व एज द फोकल पॉइंट इन द यूनाइटेड नेशन सिस्टम फॉर द कोऑर्डिनेशन ऑफ डिजास्टर रिडक्शन and to ensure and to ensure synergies among the disaster reduction activities of the united nation system and regional organizations and activities in socio economic and humanitarian field to government of india ne constitute kiya कंट्रीब्यूट uh, किया है इसमें एक मिलियन यूएस डॉलर्स नवंबर 2016 में इन दी साइड लाइन ऑफ सेवेंथ एशियन मिनिस्टेरियल कॉन्फ्रेंस फॉर डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन एंड साइंड अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ को ऑपरेशन टू प्रमोट रीजनल कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग फॉर द एशिया पैसिफिक रीजन इन द फील्ड ऑफ डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन DRR UNDRR की अगर बात करें तो इसमें इट हैज एस्टैब्लिश मैकेनिज्म व्हीकल्स टू अचीव द ऑब्जेक्टिव जो कि तीन हमने सब पॉइंट्स टू दी पॉइंट नंबर वन यहां लिस्ट कर रखे इनमें सबसे पहला है द वर्ल्ड कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन द वर्ल्ड कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन The World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction is a series of United Nations conference focusing on disaster risk reduction and climate risk management in the context of sustainable development. The World Conference have been hosted in uh, by Japan in Yokohama, 1994. फिर उसके बाद ये कोब में हुई 2005 में एंड इन सेंडई 2015 में हम बार बार जिसकी चर्चा करते हैं यू एन डी आर आर सर्व एज दॉर्डिनेटिंग बॉडी फॉर द सेकेंड एंड थर्ड यू एन वर्ल्ड कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन इन 2005 एंड 2015 हजार पंद्रह साइमेटे दस द कॉन्फ्रेंस ब्रिंग टूगेदर गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स एंड अदर स्टेक होल्डर्स across the world to discuss how to strengthen the sustainability and development by managing disaster and climate risks the third un world conference jo hui it was held in march 2015 adopted the sendai framework for disaster risk reduction 2015 2030 tak ke liye jo banaye gaye the previous conference outcomes include the हियोगो फ्रेमवर्क फॉर एक्शन 2005 से 2015 के लिए जो बनाया गया था दस साल का बिल्डिंग दी रेजिलेंस ऑफ नेशंस एंड कम्युनिटीज इन डिजास्टर इन 2005 एंड दी योगा हम स्ट्रेटजी एंड प्लान ऑफ एक्शन फॉर अ सेफर वर्ल्ड इन 1994 इसके बाद नेक्स्ट हमारा आया ग्लोबल प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर डिजास्टर रेस्क रिडक्शन जी 
GPDRR acts as the main global forum for uh, continued and concert, concentrated emphasis on uh, disaster risk reduction open to all the countries and the UNDRR stakeholders. It primarily assesses the progress made in the implementation of Hyogo framework for action. Now the Sendai framework jisko hum kehte hain for disaster risk reduction SFDR. And it enhances the awareness of disaster risk reduction share the experience and learn from good practices also identifies the remaining gaps and necessary actions to uh, accelerate the national and local implementation it meets by annually and uh, india attends its uh, meetings regularly then next is your Asian Ministerial Conference for Disaster Risk Reduction AMCDR to monitor and to share the country's progress at a regional platform for Asian Pacific region AMCDRR was uh, you can say conceptualized AMCDRR provides a platform for engagement of uh, ministers of about 61 countries. Dealing with the disaster management for plan and policy making at a regional level. In the line with the global framework of uh, uh, disaster risk reduction. It meets by annually again. The first meeting of AMCDRR was held in China in August 2005. Since then, seven such conferences were uh, were held to enforce the pro and uh, uh, to enhance and uh, to promote the regional uh, cooperation for seamless implementation of the global framework like SFDRR, Sindai framework for disaster risk reduction and HFA right the second and seventh AMCDRR were hosted by the government of India in Dozar Saar and Dozar Satra respectively normally AMCDRR is assisted by ISDR Asia Partnership IAP So, the next, we are coming to United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, right? The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, UNOCHA, short mein hum kahenge, is formed in December 1991 by the General Assembly Resolution. The resolution was so designed to strengthen the response of United Nations organization to complex emergencies and natural disaster by creating the Department of Humanitarian Affairs and replacing the Office of the United Nations Disaster Relief Coordinator, which has been formed in 1972, UNOCHA. UNOCA has established the following uh, as we have listed here. So the United Nations Disaster Assessment and uh, Coordination is the first one. The United Nations Disaster Assessment and Coordination UNDAC UNDAC is a stand by team of disaster management professionals 
it, it is a standby team of disaster management professionals which are nominated and funded by the member governments of OCHA, right? UNDP and operational humanitarian UN agencies such as WFP, UNCEF, UNICEF and uh, you can say WHO, the UNDAC we discussed uh, is system is designed to assist the disaster affected country and the United Nation in meeting international needs for early and qualified information during the first phase of a sudden emergency. In the coordination of incoming international relief and in responding to a short notice. The government of India joined the membership of uh, this UNDAC and paid an amount of 50,000 US dollars in 2001. With UNOCHA, the implementing body of UNDAC programs. Right? Then next here is the International Search and Rescue Advisory Group. In circle. So, International Search and uh, Rescue Advisory Group in CERG is a global network of more than 80 countries. Here more than 80 countries are there and a disaster response organization under the United Nations umbrella in CERG deals with, uh, you can say, the urban search and rescue related issues. As the name suggests, it is dealing with the search and rescue related issues and CERG aims at, uh, at uh, establishing the standards for international USAR teams and uh, methodology for the international coordination in the earthquake response members of INSERG are both earthquake prone and uh, responding countries and organization INSERG was established in 1991 following initiatives of the international search and rescue teams that responded uh, to the 1988 America, uh, sorry, it's uh, Armenia earthquakes. India is a member of uh, INSERG Asia Pacific Regional Group and uh, has been participating in the INSERG meetings in the international and regional levels. Instructors from India participate in the mock exercise organized by the INSERG. India was the chairman of INSERG uh, Asia Pacific Regional Group in 2005-2006 and organized the meeting as well as the UNDC, UNDAC refresher course during their period of chairmanship. So, the next comes the Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery. The Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery is a global partnership uh, program that is administered by the World Bank Group. GFDRR supports developing countries to, uh, you can say, the mainstream disaster risk management and climate change adaptation and development strategies and uh, you can say the investment investment programs uh, that are in uh, to improve the quality and uh, timelines of uh, resilient recovery and uh, reconstruction uh, following a disaster so the gfdrr was launched in uh, september 29 2006 to support the implementation of the Hyogo Framework for Action 2005-2015 HFA, right? On uh, March 18, 2015, the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction 2015-2030 Jutha Sendai Framework was adopted. GFDRR now supports the implementation of this framework too. The consultative uh, group 
CGFDRS primary decision making and advisory body consisting of members and observers for the consultative group sets uh, GFDRR's long, long term strategic objectives uh, and oversees the expected results. The consultative group has a chair who is representative of the World Bank group. So, uh, and a co chair is also there who is a member of the consultative group. India became a member uh, of the GFDRR on, uh, in 2013 by paying one-time membership fees. Uh, the fees paid by India was uh, 5 lakh US dollars. Uh, the membership fee was paid a three-time installment during 2013 to 2015. India has been unanimously chosen as the co-chair of the consultative group of the global facility. For disaster reduction and recovery GFDRR, we said uh, for two years the decision was taken during the CG meeting of GFDRR held in Geneva, Switzerland in May uh, 14, 2019 of the sixth session of uh, Global Platform for Disaster Risk Reduction. It's GPDRR. Now, uh, the next here comes Sark Disaster Management Center. It's very humid here, so I need to drink water after every two or three minutes. It's very difficult to speak uh, in a span of 40 minutes regularly. Pardon me for uh, the distraction. Now coming to Sark Disaster Management Center. So Sark Disaster Management Center jo hai, uh, 13th Sark Summit jo hui thi, Dhaka mein, November 2005 uh, that considered the issue of uh, regional cooperation for preparedness and mitigation of natural uh, national disaster and approved the office of India to set up uh, a SARC disaster management center in New Delhi. The center was inaugurated on 10th of October 2006 at the present uh, premises of National Institute of Disaster Management in New Delhi. At the 37th meeting of SARC Council of Ministers that was held in uh, Pakhara, Nepal on 17th March 2016, SARC decided, decided to merge the four regional institutes, namely the SARC Disaster Management Center at New Delhi, India. SARC uh, Forestry Center SFC that was in uh, Thampu, Bhutan, uh, Bhutan. SARC uh, Coastal Zone Management Center that was in Maldives and SARC Meteorological Center SMC Dhaka in Bangladesh uh, which have been closed uh, with effect from uh, 31st December 2015. Paving the way for the establishment of a new SARC Disaster Management Center uh, to be located in India. So, accordingly in uh, an interim unit of uh, SDMC was set up in the NDM National Disaster Management Campus in New Delhi in June 2016 and later in November 2016 the premises of interim unit of SDMC was shifted from NDM New Delhi to Gujarat Institute of Disaster Management Camps Campus at uh, Gandhi Nagar Gujarat. The center is dedicated to the work of uh, uh, work according to the approved blueprint of SDMC IU. Then next is the Asian Disaster Reduction Center. A resolution was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in 1997 to reduce the damage from the natural disaster uh, that are substantially by designing the 1990 as the International Decade for Natural Disaster Reduction. 
and uh, following a series of uh, national conferences held during the period of 1994 to 1997 to discuss uh, the cooperation for the disaster reduction uh, a ministerial level conference was held in COPE, Japan in 1995 in which 28 countries from Asia and other regions participated it up adopted the COPE declaration which uh, includes an agreement uh, to consider the creation of a system which has the function of disaster reduction for the Asian region. The Asia Disaster Reduction Center was thus established in COBE uh, 1998 following an agreement from the participating countries with the Japanese government. The mission of ADRC is to enhance the disaster resilience uh, of a member countries and to build safe communities and to create a society where sustainable development is possible. So uh, the center works to build disaster resilient communities and to establish the networks among the countries through many programs including the personal exchange in the field. Currently there are uh, 29 member countries of ADRC. Each member country has to bear the annual contribution calculated on the basis of GDP. India is one of the founder members of uh, ADRC. Presently, they uh, presently contributes uh, India contributes about uh, you can say 28,100 US dollars annually to ADRC as a membership fee. <coughs> the next is your Asian Disaster Preparedness Center. The Asian Disaster Preparedness Center is established in uh, 1986 at uh, Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, it is a non-profit, non-political, autonomous regional organization that is serving as a regional center for Asian Pacific for promoting a disaster preparedness, disaster uh, mitigation and uh, awareness, generation, exchange of information, community participation, etc. All these activities are managed here. India is a member of Board of uh, Trustees, BOT, since August 2000. The Union Home Secretary is one of the members of the BOT of ADPC in Dohazachar. The ADPC became an uh, international body intergovernmental organization officials of the ministry of home affairs have been attending the meetings of the regional uh, consultative committee rcc of the adpc and uh, meetings of the board of trustees boring topic it's a necessity but you have to pass through it need aapko padhte hue jitni aayegi utne mujhe padhate hue aayegi तो इसको अपने आप को हाइड्रेटेड रखते हुए पढ़ें अपने आप को पूरे तरीके से खा पी के बैठे हैं साथ में कुछ खाने का रखें हैं तो यू जस्ट हैव टू पास थ्रू इट यू जस्ट हैव टू रीड इट इट एज अ नेसेसिटी फॉर यू सो अगेन वी आर ऑलमोस्ट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस टॉपिक द नेक्स्ट इज द एशियन रीजनल फोरम The next is your Asian Regional Forum. The Asian Regional Forum was established in 1994. The ERF membership was uh, including India, which joined in 1996, is uh, consisting of 25 countries. The first ARF meeting is uh, in uh, 1994 brought together foreign ministers from Australia, 
Brunei, uh, Canada, China, European Union, that is the Presidency, Indonesia, Japan, Laka, Laos, Malaysia, uh, New Zealand, PNG, Philippines, then Republic of Korea, Russia, Singapore, Thailand, USA and Vietnam based on the terms of the reference uh, the ARF ARF units rule and functions uh, we are going to discuss now to uh, first the very first uh, role or function of the ARF is to support and enhance the role of uh, ARF chair including interaction with the regional and international organizations and to defense officials and uh, dialogue and track its uh, organizations then uh, the next function is to uh, as a depository of ARF documents and papers the next function is to manage the database and uh, registry the next function is to promote provide a secretary work and administrative support including uh, you can say the serving as the arf institutional memory then the arf as the principal forum for uh, security dialogue in Asia and uh, complements the various bilateral alliances and dialogues which uh, under, underpin the region, uh, regional security or region security you can say and uh, the security architecture. The ARF is uh, premised uh, an uh, idea drawn from the Asian experience that is process of dialogue can produce qualified improvements in the political relationships. It provides a platform for the members to discuss the current uh, regional security issues and to develop the cooperative measures to enhance peace and security in the region. As uh, all the Asian members are uh, automatically ARF members, India is actively participating in the ARF meetings and disaster relief exercises. So, this is all about these uh, here it is. So, uh, one, two, and uh, consisting of these three subheadings, uh, the these two are the machineries of point number two and uh, three, four, five, six and last is Asian seven. So we are done with the uh, partnerships with the international agencies on the topic of disaster management. The next topic for uh, us is agreement with the other countries. Here uh, there is a difference in agreement with the countries and uh, the partnership with the international agencies. As uh, uh, we were dealing with the uh, international agencies at this stage and here we are having the intergovernmental agreements. We are having agreements with two or more countries. So here are the countries we are going to discuss. The very first is Tajikistan, then Mongolia, Bangladesh, Italy, Japan, uh, then Shanghai cooperator, uh, cooperation organization countries, Germany is uh, the next, the SARC countries, Russia and Switzerland at the last just pen down the name of country and the important pointers which we are going to discuss starting with the first country Tajikistan. so a memorandum of undertaking was signed on uh, october 2018 between the government of uh, republic of india and the government of republic of Tajikistan on the cooperation on the field of disaster in the field of disaster management the memorandum of undertaking seeks to put uh, 
in place a system whereby both India and Tajikistan will be benefited from the exchange of information in the field of disaster management, uh, then at, uh, monitoring and uh, forecasting of the emergencies, exchange of scientific and uh, technical publications, exchange of expert opinions and uh, uh, it experiences of the disaster management, the exchange of uh, trainees and expert facilities, capacity building in the field of disaster management. Everything here is under the memorandum of undertaking. You just have to keep in mind the word memorandum of undertaking. MOU is signed between India and Tajikistan in the year 2018. And uh, uh, the main purpose of this memorandum of undertaking was to share the basic ideas and uh, to share the experience to share the ideas, to share the expert opinions, etc. Everything to share the, basically it is the sharing of database, majorly on the sharing of database and after a disaster, the uh, amenities and uh, facilities. Then next is your Mongolia. The memorandum of undertaking was signed in 20th of September 2019 between the National uh, Emergency Management Agency of Mongolia and the National Disaster Management Authority of uh, the Republic of India in the field of disaster management and disaster risk reduction. We are talking of Mongolia here. So, the MOU which is signed, it seeks to put in place a system whereby both the India and Mongolia will be benefited from the exchange of information and sharing of experiences and the best practices in the disaster response, uh, mitigation and preparedness among uh, sharing of the satellite remote sensing data and expertise of the uh, technology based application for the effective disaster mitigation training capacity building program for the sectoral uh, mainstreaming of disaster risk uh, redu reduction and the exchange of the publications and uh, materials in the textbooks guidelines in the field of emergencies and management then next comes the uh, country of bangladesh the memorandum of undertaking is everywhere and again in the state, uh, country of bangladesh which was signed on 27th of March 2021 between the National Disaster Management Authority, Ministry of Home Affairs, the Republic of India and the Ministry of Disaster Management and Relief People's Republic of Bangladesh on uh, cooperation in the field of disaster management, resilience and mitigation. This is a topic. It's not going to come in the flow. So, the memorandum of undertaking which was signed, it seeks to put uh, in place a system whereby both India and Bangladesh will be benefited from the exchange of relevant information, remote sensing data, shared experiences, best practices, and disaster response, uh, recovery, and uh, management, mitigation, capacity building for the ensuring of resilience extend the cooperation in the field of advanced information technology early warning system and remote sensing and uh, mitigation services etc so the next country is italy again a memorandum of undertaking was signed uh, between italy and uh, india no we are coming to italy uh, the memorandum was signed on 24th of June 2021 between the National Disaster Management Authority of uh, Republic of India and the Department of Civil uh, uh, Protection uh, and the Presidency of the Council of Ministers of the Italian Republic on the cooperation in the field of disaster risk reduction and management. The MOU seeks to put in place a system whereby both India and Italy will be benefited from the exchange of uh, 
technical scientific information and development of joint pro projects and the exchange of expert development uh, strategies experiences method uh, aimed at reducing the common risk particularly in the field of disaster risk reduction management the, and the sharing of technical uh, technical expertise specialty with uh, regard to the architectural and engineering domain etc then next is your japan during the visit of prime minister of uh, japan to india the memorandum of cooperation between the ministry of home affairs the government of republic of india and the cabinet officer of the government of japan was signed in 2017 uh, on cooperation in the field of disaster management the moc uh, seeks to put in place a system whereby both india and japan will be benefited from the exchange of information and collision on disaster risk reduction and policies in the areas of the prevention response and recover and uh, uh, you can say the reconstruction for the build back better the term build back better is used here with the intention to strengthen the disaster risk reduction capacities of the both sides so both sides were uh, to enhance cooperation and uh, collaboration to share information listen and policies for the uh, tsunami risk reduction including tsunami awareness uh, early warning and preparedness both uh, sides will also provide technical support uh, as mutually decided to enhance early warning system and capacity building for earthquake risk management then next is uh, your shanghai cooperation organization countries india became a member of shanghai cooperation organization uh, sco in 2017 the sco is in uh, political uh, economical and security organization apart from india sco has seven other member states to so in state uh, members kaun se hai china hai कजाकिस्तान है किजगीस्तान है पाकिस्तान है रशिया है तजिकिस्तान है उजबेकिस्तान है एंड फोर ऑब्जर्वर स्टेट्स दैट इज अफगानिस्तान बेलारूस ईरान एंड मंगोलिया एस मेंबर स्टेट्स जो है इंटर एलिया हैव एग्रीड ऑन द डिजास्टर रिलीफ म्यूचुअल असिस्टेंस विच कॉल्स फॉर द म्यूचुअल असिस्टेंस अमंग द एस कंट्रीज एज डिजास्टर रिस्पॉन्स the next is uh, your germany uh, a joint declaration for the intent of cooperation on the field of disaster management between the ministry of home affairs and the republic of india and the federal ministry of the uh, interior of the federal republic of germany on the cooperation in the field of disaster management was signed in 2015 the joint declaration of uh, intent seeks to deepen and develop the cooperation in the field of disaster management through exchange of uh, information processing technologies and other scientific technologies expertise in the field of disaster management as well as providing training and capacity building to the first response uh, respond responders of the civil defense urban search and uh, rescue teams fire services and the medical field then next is the sark agreement on rapid response for natural disaster was signed at the minister ministerial level in 17th sark in the 17th sark summit and held in adu city maldives in november 2011 the objective of the agreement is to provide the effective regional mechanism for the rapid response to the disasters in the uh, to achieve uh, that is uh, to achieve a substantial reduction in the disaster uh, losses in the life and the social and uh, environmental assets of the uh, 
parties you can say and in jointly response uh, re and is jointly re to respond to the disaster emergencies through connected national efforts and uh, inter intensified regional cooperation then next is uh, your the russia russia ke sath india ka rishta bahut purana hai the government of india and the government of russian federation had signed an agreement for the cooperation in the field of emergency management during the 11th indo russian annual summit in the year 2010 at new delhi the main area and forms of cooperation are the exchange of information early warning assistance and uh, uh, risk assessment of risk joint uh, uh, conferences seminars workshops training of uh, specialist mutual assistance in preventing technical facilities and equipments mutual assistance in uh, enhancing early warning system and capacity building in both the states and the pre emergency preparedness prevention and response planning and carrying out the activities related to emergency preparedness and uh, prevention and response etc the uh, regulation defining the structure functions and work procedure in indo indo russian uh, joint commission were signed in 10th of april 2013 at moscow during the visit of the home minister of uh, india the first meeting of the indo russian joint commission has a cooperation in the prevention of the elimination of the consequence of emergencies which was held in 2016 at new delhi during the meeting the joint implementation plan on the cooperation in the field of prevention and elimination of the emergencies in 2016 satra was signed by shri ram uh, rajnath singh honorable union minister and uh, mr pushkar vlamder and uh, anderbeck minister of the emercom russia during the visit of the indian delegation led by the honorable honorable home minister uh, to russia the joint in implementation plan 2018-19 was signed in 2017 by shri rajnath singh honorable union minister and the russian minister then next is uh, switzerland india and switzerland signed an agreement extending the cooperation on the prevention preparedness uh, for the handling natural disaster and the assistance in the event of disaster or major emergencies the aim of the agreement was to define the detailed procedures under which the swiss government may offer and place at the disposal of the government of india the aid unit of the humanitarian aid of uh, swiss agency for development and uh, cooperation in the affected area subject to the acceptance by the other or uh, offer of the government of india so this was all about these countries here we have discussed the agreements uh, or you can say it is also in the form of partnership with the other countries so this is all for today's lecture i hope all of you got the point the basic gist of idea what i tried to convey uh, so see you in the next lecture have a nice day